All right, once again, I'm gonna bring you something a little bit different. This is Stones of Fate, which is getting ready to relaunch on Kickstarter. But Jordan and I have already done a preview video of this, the uh, original version. Uh, this will be its relaunch on Kickstarter. So from the first Kickstarter, that video, of course, you can see it in our YouTube channel as well. But one of the things I wanted to do was show you the new version uh, that we got for a prototype. So game play hasn't really changed, but the version is a little bit different and I wanted to show it to you uh, on video because you just need to see you just need to see the artwork and stuff on this. Uh, they really went in and focused on the artwork for the relaunch and I think it was a very great and excellent decision they made. So some of the components you get here, uh, of course your reference card, tells you what to do on this side. Uh, this side it kind of tells you the actions you can take and that you get to take two per turn. And then it tells you what some of the symbols are or what these symbols are. And then on the uh, back here it tells you what to do when you flip a card. So, uh, you know, when you're flipping cards to score. Again, you can go see our other video. Uh, we actually play through a little bit of the game, so you can see that there. These are uh, a single player's gem, so you get five gems that you're putting out during the game. Here's the yellow player gems. Uh, again, I'm not sure with this being a prototype if this is what it's going to come with uh, or if they have something else in mind. Uh, I think one of the stretch goals would are updated gems as well. It's either a stretch goal or an add-on. But these are really nice, uh, even if it just comes with these. I like these. These are actually an upgrade from the last version that we reviewed as well. So uh, these are pretty cool. So that would be like the yellow player's five gems that they get to put out for the cards. Uh, this is just the rule book, but this is kind of just showing you the direction they went with some of the art uh, and the box cover and all that good stuff. Uh, still a really good rule book. Uh, Nothing different from last time. Uh, I mean, well, there's plenty different, but uh, they always did a good job of explaining the game. So uh, you're still getting a really excellent rule book. But what it really all boils down to, here's what we're looking for right here, the cards. Uh, and you only use a certain amount of these each game. So the game's going to change every time you play it a bit because of that. Uh, there's also some cards in here. Uh, if some people... Uh, may or may not like because of the artistic nudity and the nice thing about the game is if you really don't like them uh, you can take them out and never have to see them again uh, but really it's it's uh, at least to me not that big a deal uh, but again uh, just showing you some of the cards here and the major focus on the art this time around uh, the art was always really good it was one of the things we really liked about the other version uh, but it, they've really done a great job here beefing up the art and making it the main focal point of each of these cards. So let's pull a few off here, see if we can give you an idea. So here you go, for instance, there's a little artistic nudity for you there. Um, little beefcake uh, there too, so you know, equal opportunity. But again, just looking through some of these, showing these off, they've really done an excellent job of making the artwork a uh, main focus on the cards. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, like I said, we really liked the original version. Thought they did a great job on the original version. Uh, but this, I mean, if you would have asked at the time, we would probably would have said, no, this is, this is great. Just relaunch it as is. Uh, and you know work and there you go some more artistic nudity for you um, re rework it and uh, just uh, relaunch and, and get the word out uh, but they really just went and took it to the next level and uh, it, I think it's gonna pay off uh, this is a game I really wanted to see happen the first time around and it didn't uh, for one reason or another but this time around uh, I'm, I'm going to be really disappointed. You guys need to go out there and back this. Not only that, but these guys have just put on an amazing contest with us uh, that's ending here very soon, or possibly by the time I get this out, it'll probably already end. Uh, but, you know, they're, they're doing their part to get the word out and to give back to the community. So, Stones of Fate, 
Cosmic Wombat Games. I believe it is launching on Kickstarter February 20th. Definitely check it out. This is one that I highly recommend. Uh, the old version and now even more the new version. So thanks a lot guys.